Hey everybody, it's Felisa. It is a dark day in my neighborhood because I'm on my way home, but I wanted to get this vlog out because I wanted to talk about this while it was still fresh in my memory. Um, I'm so thankful when God sees fit to send me people to minister to me, to actually bring me a message that I need to hear. And today was no exception. So, you know, if you've been following my vlogs at any given time, you know that I've really just been working towards self-healing, self-acceptance, self-awareness, self-care, all of those self things, working through hurt and trauma and pain and disappointment. Um, and if you don't know why, please check out the my other vlogs because I, yeah, I just don't want to take time, too much time with this because it's getting dark. Anyway, so, um, and today is an entry into vlogmas anyway so today i was conducting an interview and you know honestly i this was the only meeting that i had on my calendar i've been so busy and so crazy lately with um end of the year stuff and just tired and you know blah 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 and, and you know i've been still dealing with my residual um, issues and feelings and emotions and everything as it pertains to casper and one of the things that i really have been struggling with is the fact that i still care about him and i don't know if i've mentioned that but like i don't really care like i'm transplant parent on this this video or on not this video but on this channel y'all know that and so I've been really like condemning myself about the fact that I care about this man and I can't figure out why. Like I want to so bad be like, yeah, he's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. And I could say all those things, but my heart is not listening. Um, so I, I, yeah, I've been struggling a lot with that. So today I'm having an interview with this young lady for one of my open positions. Um, it was a really great conversation. And so um, we wrapped the, the interview and so I said to her, you know, okay, well, the holidays are coming up and I sincerely doubt that I'm gonna make a decision before the holidays. So I just want you to know that's so what she said she understood. So I asked, um, just kind of like, all you know, like, out the blue, not out the blue, but you know, just kind of like as we were rapping, I said, um, so do you have any plans for the holidays? And so she said she was trying to convince her boyfriend to go to Nala. And she said, I don't even know why, because he just came back from boys trip and blah, blah, blah. And um, so she said that he's been acting really weird. So she thinks that he's going to propose to her. I'm sorry that it's getting dark, but I really do want to get this out. Anyway, um, I said, oh, really? So now I'm interested. Y'all know that I love love. Y'all know that I'm a diehard romanticist. So I now want to hear this story. So anyway, make a long story short, she said, you know, he's been dropping hints that, you know, um, they went ring shopping and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I said to her, I said, well, how do you keep yourself from being, you know, overly, you know, anxious or, you know, anticipating something and not, you know, and feeling disappointed? Because now in my head, I'm thinking about, you know, the times when Casper talked about marriage or dropped hints about marriage. And I really thought a proposal was coming and it never did and it, it really did make me disappointed and I, I learned very quickly not to put a lot of stock into this conversation because a lot of stuff he was just talking so when I asked her she said well she said she had been engaged before so now I'm listening she said she had been engaged before and her you know the boyfriend or the fiance that she had before um was a child was a childhood sweetheart she said she really you know kind of got swept up in the whole romantic romanticized view of that relationship and you know we're going to be together forever and blah 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 and um he did propose and she said midway through the proposal when they were looking at venues or what happened not through the proposal through the engagement they were looking at venues and whatnot and he just kind of decided that that's not what he wanted so, you know, they broke up and she said she was just devastated and she said she wanted to having to go to therapy. Now I'm really listening because most people will never admit that they need therapy, let alone will go to therapy. Although I'm a huge advocate for it, get your behind in therapy, like seriously. So, you know, I'm, I'm listening. And so she said that it was in therapy that she realized that, you know, that she, um, she needed to discuss this more. She said she thought when she went, she was like, I don't have daddy issues. I don't have any of those issues. So I don't even know what's wrong with me. And so she said her therapist told her, you don't have the, you don't have daddy issues, but you have issues. So what she began to explain to me was that she lost her mother about six years ago. And she said that one of the things that she learned in therapy was that when she lost her mother, she was so afraid of losing anybody else that she held on tight to everybody in the effort not to lose them and it was killing her in the process man when i tell y'all 
that was like a lightning bolt for me. That was like, I swear, I saw Jesus himself come from the heavens. The heavens parted and I heard crescendos, y'all. I'm not kidding. Like that was such a lightning bolt, watershed moment for me. I literally teared up and I couldn't cry. Y'all know I'm a crier. <laughs> I couldn't even cry because if I started crying in this interview, it was an interview for Christ's sake. None of this conversation was supposed to be happening. None of it. So I'm like, I'm tearing up. I'm trying not to let these tears fall, but I feel it. I feel it all in here. I understood in that moment exactly what she was talking about. Like I, and I'm trying not to cry now because I understood what that meant. When I told y'all in my previous vlog that his ghosting me triggered all these abandonment rejection issues that i had i was not kidding y'all this is real it is real and if you don't get a handle on it it will have you attached to people who mean you no good and you will kill yourself in the process and she wound up saying you know he she, she said that and she said her therapist told her this y'all listen you ready for it she said her therapist told her that she was so worried about losing him but didn't realize that she lost him already because he was cheating he wasn't cheating her well he wasn't really into the relationship she was just there holding him she was a placeholder she said but you lost him a long time ago he really wasn't what you needed him to be he wasn't emotionally available he was distanced he was distant he was literally taking you for granted and hurting you in every conceivable way but yet you held on because you were so afraid that his physical absence was going to do something more than his emotional absence listen to me when i tell you like i can't wait to get home and journal and really purge and get this mess out and really put some context to words i know that that was a word for me y'all listen when words come to you you better listen to them don't disqualify them because of the risk the risk the um the person that is giving it or you know the context in which is given like you need to understand that nuggets come all the time like your your angels and your your guardians and your your the spirit will bring to you revelation knowledge in a way that you can't even fathom if you would just be open and receptive to it i promise you that that was a right now word for me i promise you i promise you i promise you and i i don't know how i'm going to process the process that information but i know that i need to but it was such a liberating point of conversation for me that woman blessed me more than she will ever know that woman opened the door for me and opened a line of thinking that I hadn't even considered even though I knew abandonment rejection issues had something to do with it I didn't view it in that way I didn't put those um put that two and two together in that way and so I'm just entirely grateful and I wanted to come and I wanted to say this because I want this vlog to go out and I really wanted to bless someone I want someone to hear that and understand why the connectivity is the way that it is and so in order to receive you have to let go you have got to let go and you got to be able to allow God to bring those people into your life that are meant to be there and are meant to bring you joy and happiness instead of holding on to pain because you're afraid to move forward I hope that this blessed somebody because it certainly blessed me I will talk to y'all later bye